to slime. I think it's probably better going around this way. Faster. I don't remember what happens if attempt to flee fails. I don't get bored at automatically if we do that, right? Oh. Or oh, alternatively we don't fail it, I guess. But I think it's just naval combat that opens. I think when I was on the ultimate, I never actually tried it because I didn't know for sure, and the danger for it being off it maybe triggering the boarding just pretty much made me not even want to try it. I mean, ideally, in an Iron Man run, you always want to have a non-Iron Man run as well that just tests stuff. But I was always a little bit too lazy. I always did have a secondary character all the way up to Nick Ataka, but then I was just lazy playing it after that. I just felt like so much work. And honestly, all my deaths were stupid. I didn't die to stuff where I didn't know that I could die. Where, like, testing it with, with a test character wouldn't have made much of a difference. I died because I got bored and I got into fights that I shouldn't have gone, gotten into in the first place. Fleet? We're impossible with her wealth. Well, no one to bribe. A floating hangman gone. Now they're bones. Fresh fruit. What can I stock you on? She has this now. They fixed that at one point. She used to not have it for a while. I mean, when the game came out, she did have it. But then for quite a while, it was back. Why is that guy standing in my way? I can always revive him. I'm not I'm not dexterous enough to go around him, Kappa. But yeah, it was always Oh, she doesn't have it. Wait, is it in here? Oh I see, that's where it always was. I was gonna say, even when it was bugged it was always possible to get it via stealing. They do catch you like this. I mean if I would have done the same that I did to pick pocket from her, I could have gotten it without getting caught. But I knew that you just lose reputation, so not Looking a big deal. I've got coin and a few you carry. Hmm? It's in and so if you're at your last I thought or cat lay you're looking for the happy hunt. I'm telling you, ask for Ewina in the king's coffin. Make you see stars. Welcome at the uh, what the what I always repeatedly look up armors because I just know the armors much less well than I know most of the weapons. This is one of my favorite weapons in the game. I'm not gonna buy it. You half-masted sot! She's gotta be nine. It's a nice weapon, but it's not worth Paying money for it, pretty much. I mean, yeah, if you're at the point where it doesn't matter anymore, then you could still buy it, but... I feel like the weapons you get for free... 
adjust enough. My old captain, a drinker from the day he was born to the day he died. Welcome to the anything in my. Um, I probably should buy this because of the stealth. I kind of need this even more though because I'm a blood mage. I think for free we get the armor and the necklace. I probably want to check that out first. Do I need the key for these? Difficulty 7. Difficulty 15. I didn't even know what a day's work. That's very kind of you. Wait. 21 is not enough here. I didn't know that. Let's see. Do we have Ripper Sponge? We do. Yes. There's something over there. Right. I'm off. It was always really annoying waiting around for these moving guys. I just use the spark cracker to distract them, of course, but there's a waste down here. I'm here for you. Wait, what's going on? Okay, okay, okay. Why did he not leave? We have some new AI going on or something. Or is it just random when she moves? I've never had difficulties with this before. Do I really need a spark cracker here? Wait, what's going on? I had to open this without. I didn't even need to take my gauntlets off. Oh, right okay, there I'll we go. go That was very weird. It does have conjure blight, which is kind of cool. Great blight even. Oh, that's definitely quite nice.
so arch. You got them. anything in my... Constitution affliction would be nice if I was like tactician blood mage. I definitely want to buy these two, but I don't know if I can afford both, so I guess I have to choose between them. Technically, I should probably keep the Necklace of Fireballs. Because... Um... It stacks, so when I get a second one, I can use it for like an infinite amount of time and recharge it. I have a lot of traps, and since most of the time I'm going to be using my pet instead of traps, it definitely says something. But yeah, there's no way we raise 6k more. I think for now I'm actually going to go with the cloak. Just because it's more useful early on. And the ring isn't even something I want to use late game, it's just, it would be nice to have, but it's not a big deal. The cloak just helps with getting the brilliant cloak from console heart so much. So, it's just a big deal to have that. While having the ring, once again, I'm not even sure if I'll always use it. This is beautiful. Thank you. The ring is one of those items you'd use it if you had more ring slots. Then it would be amazing. But we definitely come back over there. Wait here. back to damage anyway. So if I really really want that ring, I'm gonna get another shot at buying it. I wonder if there's any way to pick pocket for Anta. Huh? Probably not. Nah. Probably bump into these peoples on the way there. I don't even need to bump into them. The way is just way too long. Andresibet informs me that I, Gelarde, that uh, how I'm in the, this we have thought come forth. Well, Kuski. With bounding boots you could steal from him, of course, but I would kind of be a waste. Go on, Mom. Ready as I'm like to get me. 
you all come so it was that rotted they would form the figured that is but Selenia's knowledge is she belongs one moment watcher how the however it rule a lot it is unfor one is said in the though you must circular I will be I think I actually forgot to buy the fucking palm stone. Oh no, I did steal it from the barrel. Oh God! Last mush coast start I Rosa Kill him, wait an hour, then pull any gold teeth. Easy as pie. You're an idiot. Wait a minute, wait an hour. Alive, dead. It makes no difference at all. I pull plenty of gold teeth. I know the right way of it. Maybe I'll pull your teeth just to prove you wrong. What do you know? It really does make no difference. You. Act. Yes. I've seen this so many times and it's still funny every time. I'm not even sure if I can steal from that. I think I can. Yeah, that doesn't seem to be possible. I wonder if I should get her for better skills. She does have cannot engage enemies. No, that's a troll. She doesn't have that, right? She just makes you immune to engage, I think. I just quick save. Did you need is it it'll cost you fifty my Oh the problem is I don't have Captain Spunk at yet. But I guess it's fine for now. We cannot be engaged by lower level, right? That's why it was kind of, in a way, a shitty as on the troll, but on the other hand, it's also... It does prevent you from engaging. I'm mainly taking this for the plus one to all skills. Because of upscaling, because I have all upscaling on, it takes a while till all enemies actually are lower level than me. And I mean, some will never be like mega bosses and stuff, obviously. Haven't seen. What can I do for you? What do you want? So long as you show me. So we want Landris. Let's actually make sure we even have room for him. Oh no, we do not, yeah. Shit, I don't know if I can even move these guys out of here. 
Damn, I should have made sure of this earlier. Oops. It's fine, we'll put him in at Nikitaka. What do you want? It's just something I need to check when I'm still in my Also, I just realized I got way more gold than I expected to get. If I wouldn't have bought Landris, I could almost afford... How much is this? 100. Yeah, pretty sure if I didn't buy Lang Landris, I could afford the ring as well. Oh well. I do want him. So that's too bad. I don't know what this says for, but this is an ingredient, so I guess I don't want to sell it. Oh, and also, it doesn't seem to be that rare. It is really expensive, holy shit. Yeah, usually ingredients aren't that expensive. I sort by... value? Yeah, it's more expensive than Adraban. Interesting. Yeah, I just don't want the ring enough to sell rare ingredients for it. I mean, I guess I also could sell like some scrolls and whatnot. Most of these are never used. Wasting a little bit of traveling time here. This is obviously not ideal with having the this challenge on. Now that stays the only mistake. It's not a big deal. But yeah, I don't want to overdo stuff. Oh, also I forgot to loot here. Yeah, no, this just looks weird. So our charted routes we can't be anything in much. I think it's actually seven k. I thought it was like six point something. Hmm. Yeah, but these scores are really good. This one is kind of cool. 
and also not very expensive. I guess that's the main problems with the scrolls, they're not expensive. Yeah, it doesn't look good. It does not look like I can afford it. I also looked at earring. Sometimes I keep that thing forever and always forget about it. But it's not gonna make enough of a difference. And even if I sold like pets and um and the traps and everything, it wouldn't be enough. I think I can carry much more. Just reload it because of all the waste of time. Palm sales the same sales that you get on Ikataka as well. I think they are fifteen percent, twenty percent. These are the fastest sales that you can get, right? I'm gonna hold on buying them yet, but I think that's the fastest ones. I do like how the Stormwind don't have any HP penalty. That is actually quite nice. I really hate these massive storms from the challenge. The ring of a bell comes to you on a cold wind. I think I can remember this one, the order for this one. For the second and for the third one, I'm gonna have to look up Jack Jimmy J's video. Tell me what you have learned. I will set her wall. Do not give me cause to doubt your commitment. The pallet, her sick, the fig, the goddess. Does it from he does not vodka. The moon would do the vodka. <laughs> they see to their the fig, the ash, mog. I act to move against him while his plans are unknown. Would oh, also sorry that I'm not mousing over my choices. I probably should. Can I reload from the screen? I can't. 
The pallid no. Another is if you look up then into avian helium this skip. Ah. And he skip I Helia's feathered crest. You're born, however. The pallid A of both Mog she be Margaret. Even if we the pallid Margaret Warwick, her voice takes on a sharp You repeat though her We will at the pallid the work fall the black Your debt to me remains. She's you blink up. Just making sure I actually have the choices memorized right. And then I reload and actually show them with my mouse. Yes? But yeah, this is the one we want to get the wit of the Atherod. So the first one is pretty easy, except for one single choice. So usually, if there is a clever disposition, you want to go with clever, and whenever there is not a clever disposition, you don't want to go with any disposition at all. That's a clever again. But there is one exception, and it is in the very last dialogue with several choices. And that is this choice. Here you don't want to go with like the very first one or even this one. Here you want to go with. We'll see she about that. At you, you blink open your eyes. And yeah, the second conversation with the gods and the third one is a little bit more complicated. So usually it's best to look up. The choices on Jack Jimmy J Cassidy's video. You can just in the YouTube search bar you can just type like Dead Fire Brilliant. Usually it will come up. Dead Fire Brilliant Inspiration will come up as one of the first videos. It's called like Dead Fire Brilliant Inspiration from God something. Conversation. I actually look it up right now. Just to give you the right information. Uh, if I remember, and sadly I'm very, very forgetful about this. But if I remember, I will put a link below the video to... Below my video to the video. But yeah, it's called Brilliant Inspiration from Conversations with the God. And the channel is called Jack Jimmy J. 82 Cassidy and after the 82 there's a space That's a great idea. he also finished the ultimate by okay, the way so his okay. channel is very interesting we could murder some of our companions is there a reason to keep them around? Trying to think of one. The Everlight guides me. Where's my pet? Careful. It doesn't really matter because bleeding cat. <laughs> bleeding cat will keep them in combat. Usually these guys heal really quickly. 
if you attack them with like a low level character because of out of combat healing. I shall remember you in my prayers. But because Bleeding Cat stays on them, it will keep them in combat. This is actually interesting that the upgrade has an extra upgrade. I feel like that doesn't happen too often. I might also be remembering it wrong. He doesn't really have anything interesting. If he had Phantom at 4, it would be pretty cool because he has substantial Phantom at 7. I'll protect you! Hey! Who said you are? Protecting it. I'm here for you. <laughs> Remember you in my prayers. Yes? Yeah, I tried to save you, Ada. I don't know how that happened. I'm sorry. You can upgrade the second chance, huh? I guess all the companions AMS have this upgrade of an upgrade. Veterans maneuver. Oh I remember this. This is for the monk build. You die horribly, I'm here for you. This is a way to like permanently okay, gain okay. wounds with a monk. Pretty nice. All you have to do is murder your faithful companion. I'm not having much luck. I don't think that's going to work. Boy, watch it. Oh, he's a tanky boy. Holy shit. I'll be seeing you soon. Why is he so tanky? I shall remember you in my prayers. Yes? What's what? Maybe he has the highest armor rating of them all. It is slightly higher than this one for sure. And obviously it's higher than this one. So only the bleeding cut really damaged him, I guess. Okay, that's all companions for now.